some of his own along the way. Looks like the spike will be planted though, and Vivo gets a play. response on the other side. Both teams in somewhat an even scenario. The problem is, one of them has the spike down, and Moore is. We know how good he's been in these pistol rounds, already managing to pop the head of the first player. A little bit of damage coming back onto Joe, but they need to get a move on. They need to try and do some damage! And Sushi Boy just comes up big! It's left onto just one player, MW0, the clutch king, but he can't do anything to kick this one off. It's Foxes to get himself... And now they're looking to take him down on the other side after spotting him. That's Crows taking the frag. This is now looking very bad for Vivo left. Keith. Remember, Joe lost all of his shields in that early fight, almost went down. He's healed himself up, but he won't be getting away with anything here. Caught off by the flank. He, oh, on quite low HP, will try to put up a fight, and they're doing a damn good job of it. Two versus three, down to just Vixen on the back of Yellow. He's being spotted. He's being overwhelmed. And X10 get away with a bonus round. Shoot. Stuff out's always impressive. It's good to see that being worked on. This is nice. Sushi Boy's really playing the distraction. He even put down a cloud burst. And while they take him down, they don't know the oh, Crows yeah. is up close, no. but they'll still deal with him and equalize things into a 3v3. They gotta up the pace if they want this B site. And again, Yuri's is taking this super late flank through mid. Yeah, I think they're just waiting for him here. They've left the spike on the ground. We'll go back to retrieve it, but they're just hoping that he can maybe cut off some of the rotations. Now, bear in mind, they've managed to retrieve an operator here, and there's the time and kill. That's everything for them. That will open up this site completely. Scary now has to try and make a play, which he will. Takes down Killjoy and looks to push that a little bit further forward. There is now that flank coming in from Padipan. A rifle in hand. And this duel could end up being everything. Of course, if he managed to find it, can easily just dismiss out of position. And timing's not going to be good. MW0 caught jumping up onto the box. It's left onto Heat. I don't think there's anyone else you'd want in this scenario for Vivo Key. The unscopes, though! <laughs> the timing's so unfortunate. Yeah, they're also going to use the lockdown. Now, this will force a few players out of position. I say that. I oh, he's, is he going to get it? He is! He times the dismiss perfectly with the lockdown! That was beautiful from Paddy Pat, but it's very quickly traded out with he. I was wondering how on earth he was going to get out of there, but he had a plan all along. This battle again is going to be so important! And Morris turns his back! Cruz has found an easy frag and put the man advantage back in the favor of this X10 side. Fox is already, he just walks through. There's nobody watching. They don't even spot him as he just kills their star player and leaves two standing. In fact, they're now gonna bring Paddy back from the dead. Now there is some after plant utility, but they'll already get it halfway before anything else can be done. Hoping to try and finish him off, but realistically, this Hunter Fury isn't gonna get anything more. They can just get back on the defusal. They're gonna need to go for these kills, and there's nothing that can be done at this point. MW is too far away. X10, 5-0. And that's, that's not a possibility. He's in a great position with that turret. Okay, I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't even looking at Crows pushing up on B. That's insane. Yeah, th this is almost just looking disrespectful at this point from X10. They push through the poison orb. They push deep. They put down what looked like a fake wall to actually walk past it. And they're fighting so aggressively. They're not oh, no. expected to be here. He can kill off all the players, including the res. Foxes to just slam them into the ground, leaving just two players remaining. But one of them is NW0. He's already brought this one back. The spray is risky because there could be another player to peek. And Paddy has done just that. Caught him on the corner, leaves it onto just one, and Foxy. Oh, no. like, they're so aggressive. There's, oh. You are not safe. No matter where you are on this map, the okay. defenders can be up in your face. But so can the attackers. Yeah, Already this... pulling into a four versus three, and Palmieri is, is going to uh, get away what? with that. Oh. He's actually going to go over the top. This could be a free kill, especially because he can just float his way down behind him. <laughs> Almost gets a little bit awkward, but they will close it out. Vivo. Seems like Sushi Boys is not changing up his mentality whatsoever. Now he's got to be very careful. There is a drone coming around the corner in just a second, and while the trades this time go firmly in. F oh, they did for a second. They did go firmly in favor of the attackers, but it didn't last long. Paddy's going to be spotted, though. It's all in every single round from X10. Just battling, brawling on all sides of the map, and this time it seems like Vivo Keed. A little bit confident, wants to get in the highlight reel. But he won't. Not this time around. That's going to be two for V to escape. Now they're going to spot MW0. And they're actually just going to look to try and push him down. Hunting him. 
three players pushing in on that flank, and Paddy's going to find the kill. Now, with a weaker weapon, this gives them a chance at an upgrade, and now they can just look to play the retake. It was never really just an attempt to get aggressive. It was an attempt to pick someone off and now go for a retake play. Yeah, oh, Scary's even managed to pick up Joe, and that might well have been through a smoke. With the Sage down, she did manage to get her wall into play at the start. Those shots came damn close, and in the end, Nuri's will be finished off. This is an incredible round from Scary, a man solo holding the B site. His back wow. was open the entire... Yeah, Muris is ready for it this time, though. He'll catch the first, expects more to be coming around. Unfortunately, it's Sushi with the off to catch him off. A res to come in right after war for a second. Yeah, they've still taken a long time to actually get this plant down. So they're not having any actual response in terms of getting into their after plant. So again, they had this disadvantage. Nice shot from Sushi, boys. And there's only two remaining. This has to be a, a clutch of astronomical expenses. And honestly, it's just not happening. He... One versus three. They've already got the wall to hold him out. They're just sticking this defuser. He needs to get in there now, and it, it just isn't enough time for him to do anything here. They're going to hold it all the way down the Empress, so a real chance for him to just take battles and opt to escape. They've got to be careful. He, his reaction's just about quick enough. Foxy is a madman. Almost gets caught on the rope. He's going to swing instead, but it's only going to be a trade. Still, though, there's a couple of members remaining. He will just dash out of spot, but in the meantime, Paddy has caught another. Mura is being rezzed up. At least gives a man advantage back, but this is a fallback. They do have to be careful. Bye. And with that turret going down, you know it's going to be an A hit, most likely. Paddy good for the first. He falls back, moves around the side. The Leer in play. He's repositioning yet again, but caught off by a nice great shot. angle from Heat. Still, Sushi boys. Oh, oh he's actually going to pick him off. A first one goes his way. Now he is tagged at least a half HP. And he doesn't know that the other two players are remaining within the site. He's shot into the turret. But although he does take down Joe. The rope, he wasn't able to. Has to put it down below instead. And use his orb to cover. I don't know how the Ares just died. He has an Ares and a pistol. And he just goes out with the sheriff. Oh. What has just happened from Sushi Boys? That is, um... That's one of the most careful. Foxy is still here. Oh no. They haven't they have actually no checked for it. That's a free kill at least onto the first. And even just staying alive, it would be so valuable for his team. But he, in the meantime, has cleared out the rotators and at least given themselves. For Vivo Key, they really want to come out on top. And this one, give themselves that leg up to buy their way back into the series. Or back into the uh, map at least. Oh, they're going to be caught on the way back. And there's the tag from here. On towards this B side. But it looks like for Vivo Key, this is by design. They're trying to hold them into spots, but they don't really have anything to fight from. Oh uh, almost a nasty surprise, but it's only going to be the one for one trade. Putting this into a four versus three scenario. Moore is going to try and take some extra space. I don't know if they'll expect Sushi Boys to just be sat below them. In fact, the remaining attackers have just gone on the longest lurk play ever. They're all wrapping back around. They're starting to shoot the target. He just realized there's no one on there. Okay, I can just scurry away. Now, this is not planted for them. So they have to get back into space. And in fact, the defusal has already begun. They've managed to get it halfway. But again, the kills just all come through for X10. It's just like the... It has to be. Now, the weaponry... It's actually not bad from X10. They've got a couple of rifles in there, one of them being a Bulldog and oh, Vixen. It's a risky battle to attempt, and I think he's got caught a little bit on the wall as he went through. Okay, <laughs> Sushi Boys. Time as possible, and the slow combined with the shock dart leaves Paddy very, very low indeed, but Scary is making his way up, and now the flank is completed. He's found the first. He'll come in for three by the time the round is over, and X10 push up to 11. And it's world class what they're bringing to the table. Scary has gone down again, though, in that early round. Joe was at least able to find it, but Panaman is not looking to let them have that advantage for all too long. Yeah, they've just put him in as like a, a solo A take at the moment. Like, most of the time you call that a lurk, but I'm not calling it a lurk because he's actually just trying to fight them. Yeah. Like, he's not waiting to sneak in behind. He's not looking to catch them off guard. He's just going, I'm here and I'm looking to try and fight you. And they've just baited the res, completely killing off one. But this man with the blade storm, we talked about his headshot percentage. They definitely got one of them. Unfortunately, received another in return. No real problems, at least in this round. And actually, I'm so good job of it so far. Muris doesn't stand a chance. No, Fox taking him down. Like Vivo Key need to improve on, but then it comes to the duels. And Heat's been on fire. He has just missed the opening shot here. And other than okay. him, we haven't really had a hero to step up. But this time around, Joe's going to pick up a double. That mid flank completely destroyed. Yeah, they managed to catch off 
at least a couple of the players. They've got to be careful here. He went up above at least for a second, but they haven't cleared this properly. They've given that extra space oh, to, he, to just shine, and he's just looking to survive, but he gets taken down. And Sushi Boys actually pops the Blade Storm. He believes he can clutch this out. I think we will keep not going to allow this to go on road. For the Brazilians, I like I like watching those little moments from Heat. You know, it's very easy to look at someone holding an eye. Actually, win the round off the ult. This time, though, it's looking far more basic. And Vixen again, he's just been taken out. They don't have the res this time to bring him back. So that's so much space just garnered by the attack inside and after plant guaranteed. And now, well, it is going to come down to that retake. And as said, this lockdown somewhat worthless at the moment. Yeah, they're going to put it down anyway see what it can do, but all it's going to do is get that Hunter's Fury activated and firing in. We'll look for another tag on one of these players as well as they come on through. I think it's founded, actually. Joe down to 70 health and no this shields to play begin. with anymore. He's going to heal himself up. So that's that burned up. In fact, I think MW Zara might have even gotten hit as well. And they haven't spotted the Crows towards the backside. A nice double kill to open things up for X10. And even with that wall going up, there are plenty of players to deal with it. Joe falls. So does he. Maru is switching up to another agent. He's looking like a jack of all trades. And, well, they were talking about aggression. It's actually come out from the side of Vivo Keith straight into the pistol round, just pushing their way through Garage. They Got off to a great start, but oh, Foxy's right. come back with two. I think it was a shot through the door as well with the ghost. Wrap around through the spawn to A, in fact. It is not at all. They're just looking to duel on this one. Vixen left on 40 HP by the time that X10 run to the other site. And, well, he is going to have a lot of angles to cover when he comes back to retake. Spike planted. Yeah, he's, he's so low on HP. And, and this crossfire in towards the spawn is actually gross. Like, they already... <laughs> oh. <laughs> it gets hunted down. It's just going to end up blooming as a smoke. And she avoids the flash. Sushi Boy just hiding within. They're going to try and make this one costly. That's the only goal, but okay. Uh, this is a round that, considering how the game has gone so far on the previous map, they need to win over on the side of Vivo Keen. And Joe's already doing a great job of securing the openings. Oh, <laughs> that just to walk back into that angle. It's a bold play. He actually doesn't take any damage for it, so hey, fair enough. A few pieces of utility. Now, there's already two players, at least in the general vicinity, mirrors as well, still having some utility available to delay them, and he has gained so much ground. This kill is as free as it gets. Going to try and spot out the remainder. He might actually get traded here. I don't know if he realizes they're in the window, but just snaps back to take off the head. There's Muries and Vixen pushing all the way down. They're now in the window, seeing the spike. And stuck inside of Astral Form when he comes out. Vixen's gonna trade and take that rather than later. Vivo Keed. One round of the board now they face off against the full buy of X10. This is where they could face a little bit of a problem. Stunned to the backside. Vixen not gonna be able to do all too much, but he's safe for a moment inside of those cloud bursts. But now they know he's here. He'll swing and take down one, but his teammates are falling. He needs to do so much. And despite the damage done, it still ends up in a 2v4. That lockdown coming in to buy them the time. We get a nice safe spike plant. I, I feel bad. I think he did about 240, 250 yeah. damage, not including the kill, but it really doesn't matter at this stage. MW Zero has to break back and just fall away, try and hold on to this gun for the next round, and hey, X10, they really didn't give them much of a chance in this round whatsoever. In fact, scary. Decided yeah. not to pick that one anymore. Now, the rest of the team have not been static. They've been getting ready to make a push into this site, and they have a little corner where they can actually plant them just on the edge, but going walking through it, it had its risks. Maris goes down in a trade, and as they walk through again, it's just back into a 3v3 scenario. Neither team taking the advantage, and in fact, they've switched their move into a take towards C. They've still got so many important players alive, that breach in particular with the flashes. Foxy's also uh -oh. having one as well, and that's the aftershock to clear him out. You're seeing it, all that utility in the late round, and then Fox just comes in and starts shredding everybody. Trailblazers, insult to injury for Heat, the turret tagging him up on the way out. Only 27 health remains, and it doesn't look like Heat's going to get a lot done. He needs Especially with the utility they still have remaining. Yeah, it's going to be one of the issues, you know, uh, as I said. Pants, he's got deep into middle. Now they might not be expecting this. The timing though is not great. And again, surprised that they're committing so aggressively in towards this A site because 
They have everything they need for this. The stun, it, it, he's just screwed. That was absolutely perfect from Cruz. And now Miris has to go ham. He gets nothing done. It's left to the remaining two, and no doubt they're just going to save this one. Lockdown not worth it anymore, and they just need to keep... It is very much up for yep. debate. I mean, look, EMEA is on top. That uh, <laughs> goes, goes without saying. But when it comes to that, you know, NA, they could be on the bottom by the oh, time. Oh, no. I don't believe oh. it. In fact, it seems like they've handled this wrong. Is he currently selling a fake with an operator? No, they're actually going to push back to join him. This is so risky for Panipan. He's gone in alone with a blade storm and an operator. The rest of the team have just gone, but well, you know what? I'm not following this. Well, th th it is almost just giving some free weaponry. I don't think it's going to really affect the round in general because they are going to get an after plant on A and a retake with two low players, one of them holding a rifle and then an op. It is just unlikely. They're actually still aggressing. Why is this round from X10? Yeah, I shouldn't have said anything. That's that's my bad. Uh, yeah. I think that this is just this is just overconfidence. That's all it is. They feel like they are by far the better team. They're going for this. Uh, it doesn't matter though. Look at that. You're gonna. Sorry, God. Oh, oh it's got the Tommy got double. It's got two kills. We've got to put Timmy on the board. The turret. Oh. Can's left with the push to come in and the flash isn't really going to catch left. anybody other than their own team. Vixen has found a kill on the other side of the map. And this is where he can finally show up. Two kills, make that a third. Looking to try and bring his team back from the depths. Now he will go down to scary, but he's done more than enough. They know exactly where this last player is and there's no time for this round to go in the other direction. It will be a second. It just depends how costly it's going to be. I swear I just heard the Rolling Thunder voice line as well. I'm curious to see if it disappears coming into the next round. It dealt with Scary. The round was theirs anyways. And it's going to be investing into the Bladestorm. He does currently have a weapon available to him. And now we want to see if oh. they can get these last couple. Nice spam coming through. Patipan is gone. Big Sinatra goes back for more. And he will double up and drop the spike. You question about that Rolling Thunder. Well, we're not going to see it in this round at all. And it seems like Vigo Keith might have found a little bit of life. Oh, scary. He's able to grab heat on the updraft. 2v4, it's still winnable. But it's not going to be one. V actually playing behind the wall as well, even burning up their own one. But eventually, they will be losing a player. He sat in the corner the entire time. McCrew will be taken down. And Vivo, content with their opening duel, will back off into a much more passive stance. Oh, Paddy gets caught. It is going to be a quick trade back. Foxy has caught one, looking to try and push into C. Joe's got to be careful here. He might get caught. And in fact, the jump down doesn't really seem worth it. It's going to trade out into a 3v3 scenario. Now they do, I'm going to say it again, still have a rolling thunder. So do X10. Uh, just their breach is dead. That's that's the downside Thus of that. Look yeah. at this, playing off site from X10, smart play. They're going to just go all the way down, use their nano swarms, use their grab well. This is like hard post-plant play, so difficult to deal with. Still a nano swarm on it, and there's the tap. Grab well to start with. Sorry, the nano swarms actually aren't on it anymore. Never mind that. That's going to be a little bit difficult then, because they've now got to deny it with just the rifles, and all the bases are covered for Vivo Keed. Still, the spike diffuser gets killed. It was already halfway. Time sensitive, but X10 walk away with the victory. Nine to three at the half. Definitely help out, but can they find it? So far, X10 have won every single pistol. Three out of three. Joe watching the flank, run. but he's lit down to 14, trying to run for his life. The jump peak not going to get him much, and <laughs> Patapan will take him down. Now the flank is open, and X10 are looking to take it towards this A site. Crunch in on the attackers. Ooh, but Vivo Keed have some ideas of their own. This is interesting. I, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody attempt this at a pistol. They've tried to fight back out. They've now oh. almost got trapped. In, in the spawn. I, I don't know where they go from here. That's the problem. I think they're just hoping that their opponents almost fight back into them, but they've got trapped and they need to kill off Cruz just to get back into the A site that they already claimed. As we said, Cruz having a pretty tough game so far, but he's tucked in the corner on this pistol, ready for them to peek on in. I don't mind what Vivo are doing right now, hoping that X10 make a mistake, but the problem is, clock is against you, and eventually you got to make a move. Crew able to take the first. There's a second shot as well. Doubling up here in the opening round and leaving Muris with 30 HP in a dream. That dream looks very unlikely to come true with 20 seconds. Yeah, it's done. There's no way he picks up the spike, gets back. It's just not possible. That's the round. Well, they've at least got themselves a buy here. It's the bonus round. How does Cruz win that battle? Through a short. Hasn't seen it. 
And so he's just going to be tucked in, waiting for them to make a move. Oh, my. Scary is down. A quick wall bang in through Garage, and Sushi Boys almost went down to the same thing. I'm just looking at all the utility they currently have available on B. Like, that, it would probably be the worst place they could go. And Not if he dies. Oh, Sushi Boy oh, is going to live to tell the tale. It looks like they're almost looking to try and play a retake on the C side. Left. They have a couple of players in garage, but they'd have to just try and take this fight on the crossing. You know what? Sushi Boys actually does relatively well. He was already tagged, so a trade out there is not going to be too bad. Cruz will be removed by Muris, putting this into an advantageous position, but there's a couple tag, and you can already see this flank slowly coming in. Now, there is an alarm bot available. Ten seconds left. And I think you can see Joe's just making sure he's Spike just planted. about close enough so that it should still be activated, so they will know that he's here. Yeah, they've now spotted Patapan. They're going to go and try and deal with him. It's Joe on the corner. Waiting for that peak to come through. Patapan not able to win it out despite a lot of damage done. Look how low these players are. With a Spectre, Foxy can still win this. Vivo Key need to be so careful. This would be the game thrown away. But luckily, M. Not too much to deal with it on the other side. I think they're going fast for this. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of baiting out the utility first, but they're just going to dash straight in, and it's not working out for the opening. Heat's created space, but the Nano Swarm stops anybody else from following up through the smoke. Patapan's taking down Vixen, and things are starting to look very scary. Vivo Keed recovered the spike, but they still okay. need to recover this round. Oh, <laughs> what is that from Patapan? It's left all on to Joe. One versus three. Player still with a pistol, but the spike down on the deck. And actually, they're going to go pushing for it. Scary. Just trying to command that control, nice. but actually gives his life away. And that wasn't much of a trade, even in HP. So, Joe's still in a very good position here. Paddy Pan, you can see how confident he is. He has a layered defense. And it was so close to being done. They even baited out the production. But the fact is, Vivo Keen are going to go marching on. <laughs> Pulled him off for just a second, right? <laughs> when the peak came through, he stopped the defuse. In that situation, you've got to have 100% faith in your teammate. And 0.5 of a second is what it comes down to. That's the moment right there when Scary came off it. And I think Sushi realized, um... Oh. Okay, that might just be the moment that changes this. Now, oh. this isn't much of an investment. That's just a straight-up classic battle with a single flash. And that's enough to get them a kill. Now, bear in mind... There are a couple of ultimates here. In fact, there's even a rifle online. That's another classic kill coming through. And Paddy Pan's still there with a blade storm, but it's been utilized already. He doesn't have much left, but now he will get the knives back, and it's ended after all.